What's going on everyone in Life Sports back with another video and in this video I'm going to talk about the Toronto Blue Jays and a little preview of their season and what I expect from them. Very young team, very good team um, with some new faces um, so I'm excited for the season. Of course opening day is on Thursday at 1 o'clock against the New York Yankees from Yankee Stadium and Hyunjin Ryu has been named the opening day starter as expected for the Blue Jays. Before I start, guys, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so the Toronto Blue Jays had a very good offseason, bringing in George Springer, Marcus Simeon, Kirby Yates, Stephen Matz, um, just to name a few of the key names that they brought in. Of course, very good offseason for the Blue Jays. They brought in one of the star players in this league, George Springer, on a $150 million deal, and then Marcus Simeon on a one-year deal worth $18 million. I made videos um, on that. Um, of course, it's going to be an exciting season for the Blue Jays. They're a young team. Obviously, um, lots of good players on this team. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Bo Bichette, um, of course, Kevin Biggio, Lourdes Gurriel, uh, pitcher Nate Pearson. So there's lots of bright spots for this team, lots to look forward to. And I think that they're going to be a very, very good team. In over 162 games, I truly believe this Jays team can win 95 games. I think that's you know, right around where they could and should be. Um, they're a very good team. Of course, ex they can exceed expectations. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. They're a very good team um, with lots of, um, you know, young players. But at the same time, there's a couple of veteran guys. Of course, the one area of concern for the Blue Jays is the pitching. Um, and in particular, the starting pitching. Of course, they have uh, Hinjin Ryu. He was last year's off, uh, last offseason big free agent sign, one of the biggest around the league. Um, so that's exciting. He's obviously going to pitch on Thursday afternoon. But other than him, there's really not one big standout name for the Blue Jays um, at the starting pitcher. Of course, Kirby Yates, one of our big free agent additions, uh, is having Tommy John surgery. So will be out for the season. They lost Ken Giles, their closer, this offseason. So the bullpen took a bit of a hit. But I think their hitting got a lot better. And they're much more, uh, I wouldn't say experienced, but after most of these guys playing for a year, a year and a half, and having that under their belt, it's going to be a big time help um, in terms of um, you know the position players. So it should be an exciting season for the Blue Jays. I think that they are going to make the playoffs, whether it's in the wild card or winning the division. They obviously they made the wild card last year. I think that is the floor, and I think they will. I, I don't think they're going to miss the playoffs. I think they definitely get in the playoffs. Um, I think winning the division is something. Um, that is possible. I wouldn't predict that. I would predict the Yankees to win the division because of all the, you know, good starting pitching they have. Garrett Cole wants to get Luis Severino back. Um, you know, so they have obviously some really, really good um, players. But I think Tr Toronto is going to be right there. I do think Toronto will be better than Tampa Bay, um, unlike last season. I think the Blue Jays can make some noise once they get to the playoffs. That's all I got in the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video. Subscribe to my channel for MLB, NBA, NHL, and NFL content. And let me know in the comment section what you think the Jays will do this uh, this season. Let me know how many wins you think they're going to get in the 162-game uh, season. And let me know where you think they're going to go in the playoffs. We'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.